Hey guys, welcome to another simple tutorial. Um, again, I want to keep this under five minutes. Um, just very, very quickly show you how to add um, expressions with Inside After Effects. Um, so I'm very quickly going to create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 25 frames per second, that's fine. Um, all I'm going to do in this instance, because this will go for anything, is I'm just quickly going to create a new solid, and let's go for a nice sort of blue colour, like that. Um, you'll probably have something you already want to work with. And then I'm just going to create a, um, let's go for a star. Okay, and I'm going to get a fill of some sort of yellowy colour, like this. And I'm just going to draw like that. Okay, and I don't want to stroke actually, so let's turn that off. So I'm going to add probably one of the most simplest expressions. Um, and I'm not going to go into explaining how it works too deeply because I do that in other tutorials. Um, but I'm just going to, let's say we want to add a wiggle to the position of this, okay? So I'll hit P, and this is where a lot of people, if they're following a tutorial or following some sort of um, uh, written tutorial, this is where they kind of um, kind of get confused. So all you need to do is either, it depends if you're on Mac or... Um, on Mac or Windows. Um, on Windows it's Alt and on Mac it's Option. Just hold the Alt or Option key and then click the stopwatch, okay? And then you'll have this little text box. So I'll go wiggle, so we'll wiggle this position data. Open brackets, 50 and then five and then close brackets. Again, I go into this in another tutorial so you can have a look at that one, how the wiggle works and what it means. But now, I'll have a little wiggle on there, so 50 times a second, just wiggling it by five. So it's like a little, little kind of a, I don't know what you call it, earthquake thing. Um, I'd probably bring those numbers back around, so I'll show you now how to edit it. All you need to do, if you want to edit an expression, all you need to do is just double click this little text layer, and I'm just going to wait for mine to respond. Um, but you don't have to alt click again. As soon as you've alt clicked, the stopwatch or option clicked sorry um, all you need to do to edit is then just double click and it'll open up and you can edit the text uh, so the mind does it there you go see i can edit now so i'll change these numbers around five and then 50 so five times a second it'll move by 50 um pixels and if it plays back so yeah um there you go now that that's how you add simple expressions. Um, so again, all you need to do, Alt or Option, click the stopwatch on whatever um, you want to do it. So if you want to do it on scale, for example, just hit the S key so you've got a stopwatch. Anything with a stopwatch, by the way, you can add an expression to. Alt or Option, and then click. And then you can, I'll just type another wiggle, um, five, and then 200. Close that. And so now I've got something going completely crazy. Scale's going everywhere, and the anchor point isn't in the middle, so that's why it's going a little bit weird. Make sure this anchor point is dead in the middle. If I can, yep. There you go. And now we'll be kind of going from the center. But anyway, that's how you add simple expressions. Alt or Option, and click a stopwatch, whichever stopwatch you want to do. So cheers for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.